What's happening? Welcome to Lessons with Cameron. Today we are looking at something orange. Inside this box, we have another box. In traditional orange fashion, no box is not shipped inside of another box, possibly containing yet another box, depending. This is actually box three. First box was outside the other box. Anyway, so let's see what's in this box. Here we have an orange getaway driver. This is an overdrive pedal. It's got a very little going on on the front, any different than most overdrives. There's not a whole lot to it, so let's get right to the nuts and bolts. Most of this thing is pretty standard. You've got a volume, a bite, which is kind of like an EQ, and a gain. That's pretty much like every other pedal, so what makes this one different? On the right-hand side of this pedal, you have an input labeled driver. That would be you. You're the driver. On the other side, you've got getaway. The getaway driver, Go ahead and plug this straight into the amp. You've also got a second output here with a little headphone next to it, and that little headphone is indicating for us that we can plug headphones in, which is pretty cool because this can really be a travel practice amp for headphones. Uh, I can imagine using this on a tour bus, for example, or in a van traveling from city to city, playing in the hotel room by myself at night. Got my headphones straight into this thing. I don't have to hassle with whatever else. What's cool about this secondary output is that it's not just a headphone jack. It's also got an orange cab simulator in it. Now, normally I'd be a skeptic of this kind of thing, but the orange cab simulator was put onto the orange micro dark, which I happened to notice was fantastic sounding as an output. So one of the cool features about this particular pedal is you can use it as a DI if you had to. You can go straight into the board out of the headphone output and get a cab sim sound, which sounds kind of like putting it through a cab. It does sound much better than just a raw output, and you can use this as an interface essentially, or a way to interface directly into the computer. You could just run off the headphone jack. This will give you more of a, an organic amp-like sound rather than just straight out of a pedal. So let's go ahead and take a listen to this thing and see what it does. So if we look at these knobs here, we've got a volume and a bite and a gain. I've got this running through a orange Tiny Terror combo. It's a 112 combo, 15 watt tube amp. I've got it set very clean. I've got nothing else in the pedal chain. I'm using a 2012 Gibson Les Paul Traditional. And this is the orange getaway driver. As usual, I like to start with all the knobs at the 12 o'clock position, because this generally gives us an indication of what the creator of this particular piece of equipment may have wanted to achieve with this particular gear. And then of course they let us control the rest of the parameters so we can make it do the wrong things or whatever we decide to make it do. So here it goes. Let's go ahead and give it a little more gain. Let's go ahead and roll the gain back a little bit and see what it sounds like when, uh, well, this is gain off. All right, so let's take a listen to this thing with zero gain. Basically what the amp's doing with a teeny tiny bit of drive to it. It's like a slightly overdriven, just slightly. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit more oomph. Now we're looking at this, you know, this little bit of gain, maybe 35% or so. It really starts to come to life. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's give it a little bit more. So far, it's a very fuzzy, orangey type of sound, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and gains over here. Give it even more gain. Mm -hmm. 
starting to get pretty crunchy. Gain's over here. And this is all the gain we've got. Now let's take a look at this bite knob and we're gonna turn this thing, bite, turn this thing all the way up. This is all the bite, which seems like maybe more bite. I haven't really enjoyed it at this level, but this is what it sounds like. Well, let's also remember without the pedal, And now the pedal. So it's definitely doing a lot, actually. Uh, I had my doubts when I first started about how much gain this thing really has, but now that I'm comparing it to some other stuff, I'm kind of impressed. So let's take a look at the bite. Uh, I've got the bite rolled all the way down, so this is more of the bass side. I said Bayside because this was, I some for some reason had the impression this was the shape knob essentially, but it's really not. It's really is like a tone knob. It just gets brighter and brighter as we go. It's a little too muddy in this department, maybe with a little less gain, we'll get something. Huh, all right, well, let's give it a little more of that. That's pretty neat. It's just getting better as I roll it up. That's pretty cool. And we'll go some places we didn't quite hit on the way up. So, there's, that's pretty cool. Well, the one thing we haven't done yet is let's take a look at the volume. We can affect this volume knob and effectively bring down the gain. I think I'm gonna leave this pretty close to the middle, just on the left side there. And I'm gonna start bringing up the gain just a touch. What we're gonna do here is see what kind of a volume boost, if we can get an early breakup. <laughs> So it starts to get kind of that cool little early breakup. Still clean, but you can maybe a little dusty. It's not quite dirty yet. Let's give it a little bit more of this and a little less of that. Let's see if we can find the sweet spot. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like more gain. That's just me though. I'm a gain guy. Kind of cool in that kind of. Mm, I kind of like it. This it's kind of groovy. All right. So uh, last thing to do is we're just gonna pump the, everything except this guy. There's too much bite. Yeah.
drawn directly into the board through the headphone output with the 412 cab simulator. This is Logan. <laughs> Gonna add some gain. Now we'll add a little more gain. We're gonna move that up to the three quarter gain. We're gonna go all the rest of the way, all the game. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be informative, useful, or even slightly entertaining, please hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.